We're the only uh, airborne tactical signal battalion in the Army Reserve. Uh, and I, I think a little of that brings with uh, the culture that we facilitate here at the, at the 4th, where uh, Mustangs, you come to you know, battle assembly and it's not your typical battle assembly. I have soldiers that love being here that uh, want to stay here, they don't want to go to other units because they know the culture at the sergeant level, at the staff sergeant level, at every level throughout, everybody wants to stay within this unit because they know this is, this is the best there is in Army Reserve. So essentially our mission is twofold. One, we provide rotational forces to the Special Operations Command, primarily focused in the CENTCOM area of responsibility. And the second part is we provide early entry, forced entry, uh, communication assets, as well as airborne communications uh, on our immediate response force, which is 18 hours of notification or less. If there's an event anywhere in the world, whether it's a national disaster or some type of, uh, of conflict, we're able to load up into either a C-130 or C-17 and provide that commander with uh, real-time voice and data uh, services uh, while they're in flight to, uh, to the area. So we use the J-Block equipment set, uh, which is small, scalable, uh, highly deployable, commercial off-the-shelf equipment. So we're not talking uh, shelter-mounted Humvees or satellites. Everything can be packed in the back of a uh, Humvee, a Suburban, or even airline checkable uh, to go wherever we need to go. We average like a, a two to four man team, depending on the size of the headquarters that we're going to support. Uh, so a four man team with our j -Blocks kit can support up to about 200 users, uh, depending on whatever the customer requirements are. We don't talk about you're a 25 Bravo, 25 Charlie. Uh, everybody here is a communicator, so everybody here knows how to set up all aspects of the equipment. When you send out teams of two and three, and they have to be able to do everything within that communication realm from beginning to end to be able to provide comms for the customer, not just being a cable guy, not being just a satellite guy, not just being a network guy or gal. They, they gotta be able to do everything. It is by far the best unit I've been a part of within Army Reserve. The individuals here, there are people who get their PT test taken care of on time. There are people who get their military education taken care of on time. We have just good individuals uh, within the fort that take care of their business and, and make sure that they are ready to go and deploy on, on an individual level. So if you're coming off of active duty, uh, I tell everybody that comes off of active duty into reserves that you're going to have to take a deep breath for a minute uh, because the reserve uh, culture is a little bit different. Things might move just a little bit slower. Uh, but here we, we have the ability to say, okay, if you want to spend more time with your family or more time with your job, too easy. We'll make sure you're set up with a, a certain troop and you're still going to get that level of training that you need. Uh, but if you come here and you want to keep going back to airborne school, air assault school, if you want to go on deployment and missions, uh, that's also too easy. We have plenty of those opportunities as well. A lot of things that we do here you won't do anywhere else in the Army Reserve and only a few places actually in the Department of Defense. So when we plan our annual training missions, we're not sitting here at McDill Air Force Base for two to three weeks. Uh, we're sending guys down to the Bahamas to train with the Bohemian Defense Force. We're sending uh, guys to Europe uh, to take part in joint staff operations and integration of multiple networks with our mission partners in UCOM. And this year we're looking at sending some guys as well out to Guam. So from a communicator standpoint, um, if you have the time, I have the resources and the money to train you as much as you're willing to do. Uh, the Element has our own training academy, teaches them all different aspects of the equipment and how to set everything up. Um, also at the academy, they offer a lot of uh, professional IT certifications, everything from Security Plus, Net Plus, CCNA, all the way up to CISSP, as well as non-technical certs like PMP and Lean Six Sigma.